It's back to school time and also work from home time. Computer desks can be very expensive, but today we'll be showing you how to make a computer desk that is cost effective. We're using paint grade pine board and this piece is 3 4 inches by 16 inches by 3 feet. We will leave the list of items used for this computer desk in the description box. These are spindles and we will be using four of these. If these will make your computer desk too tall, you can always cut piece off but make sure they're all the same size. We will also be using angle top plates along with these screws. Drill a hole in the center. Now we're going to screw on the plates with these screws so they can look like this. Put the plates like this. So this is the flat side. And then use these screws for the inside. Make sure to screw it in tightly. Now we're going to turn the spindles over and screw them onto the pine with the screws that came with the plates. Screw everything down. If you look closely, you will see that one side is smaller than the other side. We're going to be placing the smaller side towards the edge of the pine. So it will be like this. This is the smaller side. angle like this to create a triangle effect. Smaller side. Feel free to take your marking from the plates. Look at this. You can line everything up and it creates the triangle for you. Once this is done, take your marking Drill a hole where you took the markings, but be careful, do not drill too deep because you don't want it to make a hole at the top. Drill a hole and then screw everything down. We drill some of the holes too deep. So we will be using this 
color changing wood filler. Now leave it to dry. You have to look so closely look how the wood is dried. It's already looking beautiful. However, it's way too tall. This will be perfect for a standing desk. However, if you want to sit at your desk to do some work, this needs to cut shorter. We're going to unscrew everything and then cut the spindles shorter. Measure the spindles and cut out about 8 inches. The mini saw broke while we were doing the first one, so we glued everything back and it actually got the job done. It took us about 45 minutes to get everything cut. Now we're going to reassemble the pieces and then paint it white. We painted the computer desk twice. We left the first coat to dry for one hour and then we left the second coat to dry overnight. This is one option. You can leave your table just like this. However, we will be covering ours with adhesive. Cut the wallpaper the size of the tabletop. Now we're gonna stick it down. Smooth as you stick to prevent bubbles.
Once you finish sticking, trim off any excess. We have other amazing DIY videos and after this one ends will be a great time to check them out. But before you go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next Saturday.